Custom tools can be used to automate your own file naming convention. For example, if I want to name this part, I will open the custom properties. So I can perform different types of action for that document. I can also, for example, uh, save the document here, define the properties for the active configuration. I can use the project to load a default property value and also assign a, a default destination folder where the file used by this project will be saved. So here I have the file name property, which is a property used to generate a file name associated with the project number and a sequence number. So in custom tools, you're able to define an unlimited number of sequences that are automatically shared between the different users. So now the sequence is automatically inserted. I can use a custom property from the 3D model to generate a drawing name. This is very useful, for example, if you use the SolidWorks configuration. Now we can see that the description property is left empty and Custom Tools does not allow me to save the document. So you can also use Custom Tools to force designers to define custom property value for the document. Now if I click OK, so we can see that the name is automatically generated without having to open the Save As dialog. So now let's create a drawing for that part. So here I will insert a standard view. And now I will save the document. So as we can see now, the configuration name was also associated with the project and the port number. Now if I modify the custom property used to generate a port name, for example if I generate a new sequence code, so we can see that the file name property has been modified as well as the drawing name. So if I click OK, custom tools automatically recognize the change and offers me to, for example, uh, save as and create a new part. In addition, I will also be able to copy and rename existing drawings.